Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle and Walter's over here. We okay. are on the Alaskan Highway and we have just stopped at a meat and sausage place. Alaska grown. They have apparently different kinds of buffalo, elk, roadkill sausages. Hoping to find some beef or pork and that sausages that we can have for dinner. And we are getting the Polish sausage made of beef and pork. They do have samples. Reindeer, buffalo, elk. We are here as part of the tour. It's called the Alaska Sa Salmon Bay. I'm just hoping the salmon is not dry because this is kind of like a medieval times thing, I think. And that's what I'm hoping. I'm just hoping the salmon's not dry. Okay, dinner was good. The fish, the salmon was fresh. The roast beef was tender. The cod, halibut? Halibut was a little bit dry. The beans was good. The salad was good. So, it's a yes for dinner here. Right. Excellent. Salad was great. Love the prime rib. Okay. Dessert fabulous. Here we are at the Alaskan Pipeline. At least this is where it comes up to the surface. And then goes back down again. Really neat. Four big pumps are in operation right now, moving that oil up over the mountain passes. Section of the actual pipe. It's a 48 inch inside diameter, a little over half an inch thick steel pipe, and that's where the oil is now at. The company that designed and built and made the pipe today. what is the deepest part of the pan. Then take a look at the surface you're going to see. You've shaken some of the larger gravel <coughs> right to the top. Drag those back off the surface with water in your pan. Rinse them and then sweep them out. Or throw them in your neighbor's pan, then they're out of your yours. <laughs> Grab some more water, keeping the pan tilted away from you all through the process, concentrating the gold. Next step is to take some layers off that surface so you stop shaking. Pour the water completely out and hold the angle the water left the pan. Then lightly dip in and lift straight up. You'll see it slowly back the other way. You don't have to blast the water, but as you roll it over the pig, you'll see it takes a layer off the top of that. Work this until you can get all of the sand up and off of the gold. We're all going to be up in the panning shed. My opinion, with you, that's way too much physical labor. <laughs> There's much easier ways to make baby. money. So in the meantime, I'm just Okay, Wal Walter found gold, gold panning, and there it is. Ethan really did it, but that's okay. Okay, the little kid over here did it. Okay, here we are at Gold Dredge. And I made my little gold into a keychain. They said it was worth $24. However, I spent $80 making it into a keychain. So they were mining the tourists. That's their new job, mining the tourists. We just had lunch at Brewster's here in Fairbanks. It's absolutely delicious. I had a Brewster's dip. The meat was nice and tender. It was not dry. And they had a special soup, which was Thai coconut chicken soup. Delicious. Walter had the taco salad and the proportions he said were were generous and they were balanced. There wasn't too much there wasn't too much lettuce and there wasn't too much meat. It was just the right combo and the meat was delicious according to Walter. So recommend Brewster's here in Fairbanks. Where am I? Fair Fairbanks <laughs> for lunch or possibly even dinner. We are here at Alaskan Bowl. They make wooden bowls. They were invited by Trump 
to the White House and he got to look at over their bowls and I think he has one of their bowls also. So that's why we're here. And we also need a bowl for a fruit bowl slash produce bowl for Wanda. So we're gonna go find one that's large enough yet not too large. Number two, he declared his name and Michael's what it was. Not feeling great, not eating well, he started using his middle name. Malcolm became the name of choice, but he was suffering all the same. Windshield became the nickname next because he sat and watched for him. He spotted bear, deer, and some bison, but no moose were ever seen. His days were numbered, then he died. Mrs. Moose came to continue the trek. Her sadness caused her to go away and seek a bull for sex. <laughs> Nephew Maynard joined our trip, spoiled to the max. The snowflake whines like a lazy brat, he just needs to learn how to relax. He came to us dressed in chicken drag, not great but not that bad. Honestly it would have been better if it was a rooster and not a hen. <laughs> This teenage moose needs mentoring. There are years of experience here. We've done our best, now it's up to you to turn his moping into cheer. Yeah. All right, we are at I don't know where we're at. Riverview. North, North Pole, Fairbanks, Alaska. I don't remember the name of the park. Riverview RV Park. Okay. Would we stay here again? The answer would be yes. I did not. It's a wet, dreary day. It's just been raining consecutively for the last two days. It's still raining now. My pants are soaking wet. Oh, just take them off. I could do that, but... Anyway, the laundry facility is actually nice. It's $2 for the wash, which is just 30 minutes, and then $2 for the dryer, which is 45 minutes. I did not check out the bathroom or the shower area. You need a key for the laundry room and also the shower facilities, which they give you at check-in, and you keep that key until you leave and you hand them back the key. In our case, we handed it back to the wagon master or tail gunner. the tail gunner. Uh, 30 amps, sewer, and really high water pressure. I don't have a water pressure tester, but it's a really high water pressure. Excellent. So make sure you have a water pressure regulator if your rig does not come with one. The Airstream does come with one, but I also use an external one, which is from, I don't... 50 to 55 PSI so it's the high water pressure to begin with that I use but this one's even higher so again excellent recommendation bring an external water pressure regulator if your rig does not have one so as far as this RV park at North Pole goes yes I would stay here again okay we are on our way now to 
to Denali. Denali Rainbow Village RV Park in Denali. And, and it should be about three to four hour drive from here. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.